What is up guys, it is Fatal here, and I'm actually going to teach you my first ever Cinema 4D tutorial, and this is how to make a really sick render. Now I would teach you how to make a proper banner with everything in steps, but unfortunately I actually don't have Photoshop at the moment working because of my new computer I've just gotten. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to make a really cool banner, not banner, a really cool render that you can work with and you can do as you please. You don't have to completely follow all my steps, this is just the basics, but... If you like this and you want to show it and you want to make a banner with it, make sure to link it to me and I'll always have a look at it. I always like looking at everyone's work. So, what you want to do is you want to get a Lightroom. I've got Robbie's Lightroom. And then you want to merge it with an AI file. AI files are like After Effects and uh, Illustrator paths that help make both 3D in Cinema 4D and they also um, help when drawing in, uh, in Illustrator. So. So, what you want to do is you just want to get one of these AI files. You can just look on YouTube, type in clan AI file pack, and you will find pretty much most of the logos for clans. And they're all in one big pack for you to download, just for your disposal. So, what you want to do is when you get it, you want to get your logo. Then you want to spawn in two extrude nerves. And then drag the paths of your logo into the extrude nerves. And then, once you've done that, you can delete this original piece of the logo and now you've got the two extrude nerves here now as you can see it gets really annoying because the same color the b both the um, logo and the Lightroom is conflicting with each other so you just quickly just want to make a new material make it black add luminance about three percent then add reflection about 10 to 20 percent I usually do about 15 and then once you've done all that, you've got to go put the color back on. Then what you want to do is you want to drag your color into your Cinema 4D logo and boom. Now you can see what you're doing. As you can see, our logo is a little thin. So maybe we want to buff it up the... What's my color? Buff up the width to about 50 centimeters. Now it's not too thick and it's not too thin, but it just looks a lot better. So now that you've done that, you want to group both of your extrude nerves into one so it's easier to work with. What you want to do is you want to click the top one and then the second one and then Alt G. So Alt plus G to group them. Then you want to rename them to whatever your logo is. Then it's easier to work with. Next, what you want to do is you want to add in some platonics. Platonics are shapes that you can get in this little cube here. You hold it down and you can drag over to platonic and it will automatically bring one in. Now, as you can see, our platonic's a little big, so we're going to make it a bit smaller. And we're going to drag it throughout the logo or behind the logo. And now that it's gone a bit back more, we might want to make it a bit bigger. And then just completely put a whole bunch of little platonics all over the logo. Because we're going to put these behind, so it's like a bit of a background. Now, you can do with, with, with these whatever you want. It's easy. And... You can, oh, not plain, sorry. So we're going to copy the platonics, keep going, keep copying them. You can change the sizing if you want, it's your decision. I'm actually going to make them a bit bigger. Copy. And just keep making platonics everywhere, all over it, as a background. And then, once you've gotten one that you're happy with, you like it, you like the look of it, then you're done. I usually do it to cover the whole of the logo, as you can see here, covers it, and you put another one down here. This is also a replacement for the Nitro Blast effect, so you don't have to use Nitro Blast. Now as you can see, mine covers most of my logo, and what you want to do is you want to do the same thing as what you did with the extrude nerves. You're going to shift, click the top one and the bottom one, group them together, Alt-G, and write Backdrop. Or rename it to backdrop or rename it to whatever you want. Now what you want to do is you want to place it a little bit back then the, from the logo. Uh, wait, wait, wait. And then rotate it a bit. If I can find my rotate tool. And then once you've rotated them, you can actually drag them back a little bit more so that you can see the logo a little bit more. There you go. I'm going to continue to rotate mine. 
place him in a good position. It's where I like it, and uh, that should be good for now. But if you ever want to, you can just add in even more. You can make it smaller, make it bigger. I'm just going to keep it like that. So now what you want to do is you want to duplicate the, that backdrop folder, and then you're going to want to click Atom Array, drag your backdrop into the Atom Array, reduce the sphere radius so you can't see the dot anymore, and then buff up the cylinder radius so it's really thick. Now as you can see, you've got your platonic, but it's an Atom Array, and then you want to just rotate it so it's not similar, well it's not the same, as in the same position as your other one then move it back on and there you've got some little met you've got some little metal bars all around it now this may look a little plain but we're not finished yet what you want to do is you want to duplicate your dare logo again on the top put an atom array like you did with the backdrop and then drag your dare logo into the atom array then you want to reduce the sphere radius again so you can't see the dots then you want to buff up the cylinder radius. And there. You want to drag the, the, the sphere ray, the cylinder, not the cylinder, the atom array forward above your logo. So now you've got both an outline and some metal bars around it. If you haven't done this already, go to the description of the video and download the pack 200 and 200 V2. These are some really nice um, materials that I use and I got them from the CISO pack that came out with the new abstract logo. If you guys want me to help you with a tutorial on that, I can. Just comment in the, in the, just say in the comments what you want me to do. Now, another one is where you're going to put the material on top of each of the things. So, not individually, you got to place them on top of the groups. So, I'm going to put purple for my rocks, and for my metal bars, I'm going to put a light blue. And for my bars of my logo I'm gonna put as another I'm gonna put a lighter green and my black for the middle which we've already got to see the logo now what you want to do is you want to click on each of the materials and change from UVW mapping to frontal see as you can see it changes the look of it completely and it just looks a lot better What I think I might do is I might drag the backdrop a little bit forward a bit more. There we go. Now as you can see, we're going to render it out. I'm going to render a little bit of it out first and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. You guys can change the colors as you please, but I'm just going to stick with this one. I'm going to try it with other logos and see if I can get something really nice coming up. I think I might do it with the Error logo because it looks really sick. So as you can see, the green bar around the logo makes it really nice. It makes a bit of an outline and it sticks out. So as you guys can see... It actually turned out pretty right. Turned out to what I wanted, and I like it. If you guys like this, if you guys like this tutorial, don't forget to like the video. If you want to learn something else about Cinema 40, Nitro Blast, Corumlum, Thrausi, just tell me in the comments. I'll make sure to help you out. So this has been Fatal, helping you with Cinema 40. See ya.